Hello. Hey, Paul, welcome. Bring a little present oh, for you. Great, thank you. I thought it was very appropriate. It's called a black belt cichlid. Black? Oh, wow, that's awesome. So the Grand Master. Oh, I love got the black a, belts. Got another black belt. Oh, another black belt in the family. So the tank's looking really good. Oh, it's amazing, I love it. The fish are fattening up nicely. Yeah, they are. They're all getting along well? Yeah, they look good. So many of them, I just love watching them. It's pretty full. Mm. Keeps me busy, occupied. We've got a few real rare ones in there as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. And this and uh, and this one. Did you have a favourite? Yeah, this one. Has he got a name? No, I haven't named him. He's a Fenestratus. He's the biggest one I've ever seen. I love this little one. The catfish. Yeah, the Cynodonus catfish hangs out upside down half the time. Yeah with those beautiful barbels that help him find food, which is, I think, cleans up the waste from the other fish. Well, this black belt will be in there soon, teaching him how to do martial arts, hopefully. <laughs> hey? A little bit of discipline. Get him some discipline and respect. Let's put this fish in its place with the others. Getting acclimatised. So when did you get your first aquarium? Well, this is my first aquarium. I had, uh, as a kid, we used to have those small ones where you just put a goldfish and all that. I've always loved fish. And uh, it was always back on my mind that I wanted to get a fish. But you know, you hear rumours that it's very difficult to look after it. It's not so true. I mean, it's... I've had this tank just over two years when we built the house. Uh, you guys have built it for us. That's the best thing that I've done. So what made you decide to actually get it? Like, was there a point where you just went right now? Well, it was always back on my mind that I wanted a fish tank. Uh, I always wanted a house with a uh, lap pool and a fish tank. But uh, some previous house didn't allow me to do that. But this house that I'm living now, we've actually built this. Uh, I said, I have to have a fish tank in there. Yeah, and as we're talking with friends, it's, oh, I don't get it, it's, it's a lot of work. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of hard work. And, and, but that didn't stop me. I'm, I'm glad I'm a martial artist. I, just when I set my mind up on something, no one can change it. And uh, like I said, I've, I've built with it and I wanted a decent size too. Uh, you know, the, you, you know yourself, you wanted to give me a smaller one, but I said, no, I want to build, I want a huge tank. Yeah, what made you want one this big? Well, uh, the size of the entry, the size of the room, I wanted the fish tank to be in between two, so you can see it from two different angles, where you're sitting here now, move the room while you're sitting there, you can watch the tank. As you walk in, you can watch the tank. If it was a small tank, you know, you look and move, but this really catches your eye. When you're walking, the first thing you see, the fish tank. When you walk, even when our guests are waiting at the door, they, they see it and you can see them looking at it. And I'm glad, and, and i tell you what, it, it's not hard work, it's great. How hard is it compared to what you thought? Uh, out of 10, it's, you know, two, two. It's very, very, very easy to uh, look after it. I mean, we have you guys, Emily comes once a month, maintains it. All I do is just come and feed it every morning. I just feed it once every morning, which takes me a couple of minutes. And then uh, the, the fact that when I'm feeding, they all come there and it's, it's so nice. It, it sort of refreshes you up in the morning. And uh, when you come in with stress, you look at the fish and, and your stress is all gone. It's all, you're free of stress. You don't think of any problems. I love the way that it looks, you know, the green, the Fish, the size, they've got so much room to move up and down. You can watch them chase each other. You watch them looking at each other, sussing each other out. And it's an amazing looking tank. I'm in love with it. I wish I could build another one upstairs somewhere. 
And so th having this aquarium, like, what does that mean to you as a person to have this? Look, I, 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 feel, in, I feel great to have a tank like this. I, I, I've sort of, it was one of my dreams to have a big uh, A lot of people tank. dream of this. Th this is what I, I It's get. an achievement. Well, it's, it is. People come down to my shop all the time and they're like, when I win Lolo or one day I'll want to... This is the dream, to have a fish tank. And what made you put it in the wall? Like having it in the wall is what, this is, people dream about this, they really do. That's right, yeah. I, I've, I've said when we're building it, I said, uh, okay, where can I have a fish tank? I said to my architect, I said, design a place where I can have a fish tank. I said, whether you want it, I said, look, I like to have it in my room, if possible, where we all sit down in the living room but it needs to be big. And uh, they said, well, it's gonna be a bit difficult. You'll have to get a smaller one for that. I said, no, I want somewhere where I want it huge, big as possible. And they recommended this spot. And I said, yep, great, you know? And it's, it's, it was one of my goals as a, as a kid to, it's like a kid, you know, your goal, some kids wanna have Lamborghinis one day, they wanna have Ferraris one day. And, and this is another tick in my, you know, well, it's not a bucket list anymore because I've achieved it. And I like the fact that this tank's amazing because of the rocks, the way you guys set it up for me. It looks so natural. I'm very fortunate to get them. The greenery, it's just so nice, so, so relaxing. And when you get closer, you're, it's like you're in the water. And, and this tank, you get away with a lot. Like for a lot of people, for example, couldn't keep this fish with some of the other fish but you, the range of fish you have in this tank is actually really diverse mm. and you get away with that because they've all got their own space. You've got fish from different areas of the world, you've got fish with different temperaments um, and normal people will look at this tank and think, oh, you can't have that fish with this fish, but due to the sheer size of this tank, yeah. you, you, you sort of can. You do, all the rules of mixing fish sort of go out of the window when your tank is this big. But the one rule that you must always respect, as we discussed earlier, is the mouth rule. So if you ever put a fish in that fits in that mouth. Mate, yeah. It, yeah, they're, they're I've noticed that because I did have a few small fish and then they long, no longer around. The fish turn into fish food. Yeah, fish food. Yeah. yeah. And uh, like with the tanks like this, uh, you know, people, I like scuba diving. I like going under the water and, and looking at uh, you know, the fish, but I can do that here without the goggles and the snorkels, where if you come close and you just, it's like, it's like you're under the water. Uh, you're seeing all that running around because it just looks so real. Yeah, and fish with like very different temperaments, different, shy yeah. ones. Shy, yeah, shy ones. ones, they're all over the place and you, you look around, uh, the purples, the greens, just amazing. You know, uh, sometimes when you ask me whether I want to change it, I go, no, it's just, I don't have a better uh, scenery that I can have here. Yeah, that is something co people will commonly do. Yeah. They will change the scenery to make it more interesting, but if you love it the way it is. I like to see uh, examples of what I can do with it. Well, you'll never get that rock out because we built that into the fish tank. No, I don't want to move that out anyway. Because we just can't get rocks like that anymore because, um, it's you just can't find them anymore yeah. that's a super beautiful rock. is there a, which fish are rare here like, well the rarest ones as far as australia is concerned like, you pretty much couldn't buy that yeah. a nice big one like that i've never ever seen um so he's super rare um, the bacotti is fairly rare this fella here that's yeah. all, you, do, you don't really get them around so there's definitely some beautiful rare fish in there and the color of some of them look at that so green terror he's yeah. Look, 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 look at the colours of some of the fish. It's just amazing. Sparkle. Yeah, yeah, they fully sparkle. Some, some parents, like I know parents who give them an iPad or a phone. Here, look at it. Me, I'll just bring them out here. And, and when we have grandkids, my daughter also lives here. And my son, when they, get, when they have their grand, uh, kids, you know, they can come here and just look at the fish all day rather than spend their, most of their time on on computers or iPads. But I just think that fish bring to kids a lot of the same things that martial arts does. Yes, it it does. brings responsibility. Yes. It brings, you know, you've got to respect your animals. You've got to be disciplined with your animals. Mm -hmm. And it gives you so much back. And it's all just wonderful skills that the kids get. 
And you look at, for example, what I try to do with my kids with sending them to the martial arts, I think that's been wonderful for them. Give them their own fish tank to look after. If they don't look after it, their fish dies, they get all upset, they learn the consequences of yes. what they've done. It's a great, that's great teaching. What you're doing is great. It makes them responsible. It teaches them, you know, you're responsible. If you don't, the consequences are someone's gonna get hurt. Martial arts is a great tool to take them through their life. It's got everything offered there. And I would recommend everyone to have a fish tank, whether you can afford it, it's not hard to look after, it's easy to look after. I believe that everyone that wants one should get one and try to get it as big as possible because it's a great feeling. We grew up to fight because that's the way our instructors wanted us to do, go out there and practice your martial arts skills. But every time I, I did fight, it wasn't a good feeling. Hurting someone is not a good feeling.